some of the most famous, expensive and unique collections of sacred and ceremonial jewels in the world, the crown jewels of the United Kingdom are the nation's most precious treasures. Compromising more than 100 objects and over 23,000 gemstones, the crown jewels are almost priceless and are part of the royal collection held in trust by the monarch for the nation. Being of incalculable cultural, historical and symbolic value, the crown jewels have been protected at the Tower of London since the early 1600s. Officially, the crown jewels are priceless, but today we take a look at the estimated net worth of these national treasures. Today we're looking at the top 10 most expensive crown jewels in the United Kingdom. Remember to hit that subscribe button and smash a like on the video to help us rise in the YouTube algorithm. Number 10. The Sovereign's Orb Officially a representation of the Sovereign's power that symbolises the Christian world, this crown jewel is divided up into three sections that represent continents from medieval times. Featuring bands of jewels as dividers and the cross mounted on a golden globe, the Sovereign's Orb reminds the monarch that their power is derived from God. The orb included 12 large diamonds, 30 rubies, sapphires and emeralds from the coronation of George I in 1714. Part of the coronation regalia, the Sovereign's Orb was created in 1661 and was first used for the coronation of Charles II in 1661. The orb was last used during the coronation of Queen Elizabeth II on Tuesday 2nd of June 1953 and will be used once Charles is crowned king and later when Prince William succeeds his father. Although it's only set with imitation jewels for display purposes, the Sovereign's Orb is thought to have an estimated value of around $200,000 when the real jewels are equipped. Number 9. Prince of Wales Coronet the coronet of Charles, Prince of Wales, as it is more well known, is a small crown that was used at the investiture Prince, now King, in 1969. Designed by the artist Louis Osman, the coronet was a gift from the Worshipful Company of Goldsmith to the Prince's mother, Queen Elizabeth II. Featuring 75 diamonds and 12 emeralds, all white and green, it even features a gold-plated ping-pong ball. King Charles III has not worn his coronet since the investiture, however the coronet was carried before him when he took his seat in the House of Lords in 1970. Placed into storage at St James's Palace, London in 2011, the coronet and other pieces of Charles' investiture joined pieces at the Jewel House in the Tower of London in 2020. It is estimated to be worth close to $220,000. Number 8. Altar Dishes Formed as part of the plague commissioned by Charles II on his restoration in 1660, to restock the depleted jewel house, this silver gilt altar dish is actually part of a pear. Embossed in the centre with a Tudor rose, it features different kinds of fish swimming in a rippled sea. During the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, the dishes were used at the Monday service for the distribution of Monday money. These dishes have been attributed to John Cuckus, who was made silversmith in ordinary to his majesty for chest work within his majesty's closet and bedchamber. While the dishes have never been used in a coronation, they often appear in the jewel house and at the Tower of London and are thought to be worth around $400,000. Number 7. The Diamond Diadem The George IV State Diadem, officially known today as the Diamond Diadem, is a crown that was made in 1820 for King George IV. Worn by the Queens and Queen Consorts while in procession to state coronations and state openings of Parliament, it featured in paintings on stamps and on currency. Commissioned in 1820 at a cost of 8 216 pounds the 800 pounds worth of diamonds have never been proved to have been returned to the jewelers the crown features a gold and silver frame measuring 7.5 centimeters tall and 19 centimeters in diameter while it is decorated with 1303 diamonds weighing a total of 320 carats 
two strings of pearls rung along the base, and the diadem has four bouquets of roses, thistles and shamrocks instead of the distinctive fleur-de-lis. The diadem has been worn by several queen and queen consorts since Queen Adelaide, the wife of William IV, wore it in 1830. It is thought to have a value in today's money of around $800 thousand dollars. Number six, Mary Moderna's crown of state. The state crown of Mary Moderna is the consort crown made in 1685 for Mary of Moderna, Queen of England, Scotland and Ireland. Originally used by future queen consorts up until the end of the 18th century, it was originally set with 523 small diamonds, 38 large diamonds and 129 large pearls, all higher diamonds. Today the crown is set with artificial crystals and gemstones for display purposes in the jewel house at the Tower of London, while being 8 centimetres tall and weighing 300 grams. Currently thought to be worth somewhere in the region of $21 million, the gold crown is decorated with a fleur-de-lis. Number 5. Saint Edward's Crown Considered to be the centrepiece of the crown jewels of the United Kingdom, this crown is named after Saint Edward the Confessor. Originally a holy relic that was kept at Westminster Abbey, the crown was melted down or sold as part of the abolition of the monarchy in 1649. The new crown, which was made for Charles II in 1661, is solid gold, 30 centimetres tall and weighs roughly 2.23 kilograms. Decorated with 444 precious and semi-precious stones, the crown was not used in ceremony for the next 200 years until George V revived the crowning ritual using the crown in 1911. Thought to be worth $57 million, it is consistently on public display in the Jewel House and at the Tower of London. Number 4. Queen Mary's Crown Originally made for Mary of Tech in 1911, the crown of Queen Mary is a consort crown that was purchased by Mary from Garrard & Co and contains around 2,200 rose-cut and brilliant-cut diamonds. Originally featuring the 105.6 carat Koh-i-Noor diamond, the 94 4.4 carat Cullinan 3 and the 63.6 carat Cullinan 4 diamond, they were all replaced with crystal models in 1914. The crown can be worn as a circlet or open crown after the arches were made detachable, and Mary wore the crown this way after the death of her husband, King George V, in 1936. The crown has not been worn since Queen Mary died in 1953 and is often seen in the Jewel House at the Tower of London and is considered to be worth close to $200 million when the real jewels are added. Number 3. The State Imperial Crown One if not the most famous crown of the 20th and 21st century, the Imperial State Crown has existed in various forms since the 15th century. Made in 1937, the current version is worn by the monarch after a coronation and is used as the state opening of Parliament. Dawned with 2,901 precious stones, including the Cullen and Two Diamond, St. Edward Sapphire and the Stuart Sapphire, and the Black Prince's Ruby, this crown was worn by Queen Elizabeth the second at her coronation. With the frame made from gold, silver and platinum, the crown is decorated with 2,868 diamonds, 273 pearls, 17 sapphires, 11 emeralds and 5 rubies. The original Tudor crown was broken up by Oliver Cromwell during the Interregnum, and its valuable components were sold for £1,100, while today the state crown is thought to be worth a more modest £354 million. Number 2. The Sovereign Scepter Compromising a gold rod, Formed in three sections, the scepter represents the sovereign's temporal power and is associated with good governance. Surmounted by an enameled heart-shaped structure, it holds the massive weighing 530.2 carat Cullen and One Diamond, which is known as the Star of Africa. Decorated with 333 diamonds, 31 rubies, 15 emeralds, 7 sapphires, 6 spinels, and one composite 
Amethyst, the scepter is thought to hold a value of close to $525 million when holding all gems. Made in 1661, the scepter is part of the coronation regalia and is held by the new sovereign during his or her walk out of Westminster Abbey. As with the other crown jewels in the coronation regalia, the sovereign scepter can be seen in the jewel house and at the Tower of London. Number 1. The Sword of Offering Officially reflecting a monarch's role as the head of the British Armed Forces and defender of the faith, the Sword of Offering and other swords in the Crown Jewels are carried before the monarch into Westminster Abbey. Originally created for the coronation of King George IV of the United Kingdom, it is decorated on both faces with the national emblems of England, Scotland and Ireland. Also carried before the monarch at state openings of Parliament, the sword has 1,251 diamonds, 16 rubies, 2 sapphires and 2 turquoises with a Damascus steel blade. Separately, the sword's handle is set with 2,141 diamonds, 12 emblems emeralds and four rubies, while two diamond lion heads both have ruby eyes. Originally commissioned by George IV for his 1821 coronation, the sword cost him more than £5,000 from his own pocket. However, today the sword could be worth closer to $660 million. Of interesting note, the sword actually remained the property of the royal family until 1903, when it was transferred to crown ownership and deposited with the Crown jewels. The sword and other swords, including the Sword of State and the Sword of Mercy, have been used at every coronation since 1911. Thanks for watching this video on the top 10 most expensive crown jewels in the United Kingdom. Remember to hit that subscribe button with the bell icon to get notifications of our weekly videos. Like the video for more great weekly content coming this year, and don't forget to check out the video on this page.